Hello everyone, let's try this one more time. We are going to do a short stream on the beginning of the Descent into Avernus uh, game that takes place in Neverwinter. So Descent into Avernus is one of the modules that was released for the Neverwinter MMO. And in it they apply their own special look at the Descent into Avernus adventure. Uh, let's start with a look at the product itself. This is what the adventure looks like in the hardback form. And this product, uh, these are not really spoilers, or at least they're very widely known spoilers, but Descent into Avernus deals with uh, the city of Elturel and the Forgotten Realms being dragged into the first layer of hell called Avernus. And it also provides the threat that Baldur's Gate will soon be dragged into Avernus as well. Uh, in the Neverwinter game, they apply this story a little differently. They still use the same main villains, and a lot of the NPCs are there, a lot of the concepts are there, but to try to make it a little more tangible to the everyday life of a person who's in the Neverwinter game, uh, they do something revolving around the Stronghold. And this is a picture of the Stronghold, so let's talk about what that is. It's a pretty cool idea. One of the expansions of Neverwinter was to provide a place where players could congregate. Uh, they can form a guild, and the guild has a stronghold. You begin with a place that does not look as cool as we see in this picture. You have a castle that is worn down that you are asked to help restore, and by working together as a group, as a guild, you are able to fix this place up and make it look a lot better. Uh, I used some of these concepts at a very high level when I was a writer on the Acquisitions Incorporated book. Um, the reason for this was that the Acquisitions Incorporated uh, storyline is all about the idea of the franchise. You're helping to enrich almost a, a fantasy corporation. And one of the things we thought about, wouldn't it be cool if you could have a base, because that's often what players have wanted to do across the Dungeons & Dragons editions, is to have some sort of keep or tower or temple or something like that. And there are a lot of products, both official and third party, that have tried to help with this. In Acquisitions Incorporated, we created a very light system around this. So there's a lot of what you see in the MMO version that I did not use as inspiration, or let's say it was reverse inspiration, because I wanted a much lighter system than what's here. Um, but what's neat about this Stronghold version, it's exactly the kind of thing you want from MMO, where it makes you work hard as a group to gather all kinds of resources and make it better. Um, what we will then see is that if we have the leftmost map, which is your map of what the Stronghold looks like, when we go to Avernus, it's being dragged into hell, and you can see there are different moats that have broken off, and there are chains coming from all sides. Uh, dragging this place down, but you still have this keep. You see sort of the question mark symbol on the right-hand side, um, or there's a sort of exclamation point and some like kind of coin-like symbols. Those are the, the keeps that are in the area. Then you can ignore the blue zones. Those are various quests and things that are up there, or events that are happening. Um, but you can see kind of the rough shape that's there. Uh, that gets preserved. So we're going to go into uh, the the game and, and take a look at what this looks like. Um, as you can see, the, uh, the backdrop of the game has been updated to reflect the latest expansion of Avernus. Uh, Avernus has an intro quest, that's really what we're going to focus on here. It also has a um, main uh, Valenhas storyline, which we've been playing, and now it has this new uh, expansion where you go out into the wastes of Avernus, and that's what this picture depicts. Um, so I am going to log into a different character. Uh, let's go with my Warlock. And she is going to start in a place that you may have heard of, the Yawning Portal. Sometime we'll go back and we'll cover uh, the location of Undermountain. Um, you may, if you if you know your lore, you may be thinking, but wait a minute, isn't this located in Waterdeep? And yes, it is, but through the magic of the Yawning Portal, uh, we can visit it. So this is the Yawning Portal, and at some point we'll come back here and give it a more proper introduction. But for now, my warlock is going to travel 
uh, to the stronghold. So you can see here's the Neverwinter map. We've looked at this in previous videos. This little diamond shaped thing here is where the city is and then we're magnifying glass, looking glass, looking at it here and seeing what the city looks like, all the different spots in Neverwinter. And then there are various areas around it. Mount Hotnow, which we talked a lot about in our first two episodes, Sharandar, the Dread Ring, and all of Neverwinter Wood here. Uh, and somewhere off in the distance, this isn't really supposed to be the scale, I don't believe, but somewhere off here we've got our, our guild. Uh, and as I said, we restore it. We can also be part of an alliance, so you can have a, a group of guilds and go to the other guild houses. But when we come to our guild stronghold, um, we're going to go through this transition screen, and then we're going to arrive at the guild itself. Uh, it's like a huge castle with some outer line lands. There are some threats that periodically you deal with. Um, nothing too serious. There, there is a PvP component to this, though it's not played um, that often uh, that takes place. And um, a lot of what the guild is about is a place to gather with friends and to work together towards improving it. And whenever this thing gets past loading, <laughs> I will show you what that looks like. Um, so let me, let me pull up that map while this is loading so you can see here. And I'm going to actually just enlarge this and put it towards the front so you can take a look at what that looks like. So we're going to see this. Looks like it's coming up here. All right, so here I am in the middle of my stronghold. Uh, this is, you know, we like to talk about tabletop angles, cool things you can do. So one of the neat things is that you've got this really cool looking stronghold. Our stronghold is maximum level. Uh, so I've got my guild here that I'm part of, the Harbingers, and you can do all kinds of things to manage the, the guild. Uh, and one of those is to build different structures. And there's some really kind of funny things here. Uh, over time, as you build it, when you first start out, this place is like falling apart to meet all these various NPCs. Uh, there are deer roaming the halls, and there are, you know, chunks of rock all over the place fallen and broken. You can still see a few there, but it's all been largely cleaned up. And stores open up as you start building it and get new, new things showing up. And a really fun idea is you have a mimic that is what you interface with to use the or interact with to use the, the to, to donate things to your strongholds if you look in uh, is it here yeah there's like some chests there and things um so the idea is that when you when you go here you can donate various things to the coffer and this all helps you build whatever you're trying to do like right now we're building up our masonry um we're building it's on the outskirts uh, and looking at the map indeed if we pull it up here you can see there are all kinds of different structures, animal pens, and the mine, and quarry, and they produce stuff, and it's like its own little mini-game. Uh, we're not going to spend much longer on this, but you can do you know quests here to beat beasts and deal things to protect the stronghold. One of the funnest events is there's a uh, dragon hunt where you can call the dragons down. Four dragons show up spread across the map, and you have to work together to be able to defeat all four, because as soon as you defeat one, the other three are going to run off, so you kind of have to work together to bring them all down in hit points, and then give it a last assault. So the point of this is, okay, here's this stronghold, right? Very cool. Everything's looking good. Um, but, uh, but what would happen if a nice place like this were threatened? And that is what we do in this quest, where the Valenhas estate has its own stronghold, this family. Uh, and they mimic a little bit, I forget the name, I think the Von Thampers. It's a little bit like the Von Thamper family or part of the other um, uh, families that are in... Um, oh, I'm not showing you my map. Let me show you again here. Sorry. Uh, let me show you the map here. So so here's uh, the Valenhessen state over the side. Um, this is the, uh, the state that I'm talking about. It's sort of like our guild where I am here. So let me go back here and show you what I was intending for you to see, which is the, the, what the guild looks like here. Right, and we have our Mimic. I think I missed some of that just now. Showing you the wrong part. Um, so this is our Mimic that we can donate to. We can feed it all sorts of currency and items and jewels and coins and things like that. And it gets happy. And it lets us build different structures. And when we look at the map here, you can see the different structures that are on it. Warehouse and uh, there are different areas of zones and a farm and a mine and a quarry. So all those things we build up, 
And the point of this is for you to see uh, what this looks like when it's not in hell, because we're going to go to a version that is in hell. Um, so, but first we start at the very beginning uh, with um, going to the Valenhas estate. And this character has not done this, not done it before. That's why I can I can run this intro. Um, so this is not my most powerful character or anything. This is a new area of the game. A lot of times I've been showing you old places where it's very easy. This is the opposite. This is a, a quite hard area. Um, you have to work on your character a bit to get it to where they can do well uh, on these types of quests. For some reason my loading is pretty sluggish here, but you can see here the estate and there's this weird sun above it, right? Uh, the idea of um, the idea of a stronghold has been used also in Barovia as well. Um, the uh, a guild was given to uh, the family that is involved in the Barovia plotline, and you had to help them there as well to figure out why they've been sort of cursed by Strahd. And um, here we are seeing something's going on, people are very worried, uh, villagers are speaking to the guard and saying this isn't good, and sure enough that looks, that's not good, you don't want your son to look like that, especially when you already have a son there. <laughs> Double sons, uh, good sign that it's problematic. Uh, so we're going to go into the estate itself. You can see this looks a lot like ours, it's just slightly different, you can't go everywhere right now, but it always looks really nice. That's about to change. Oh, this is, I didn't show you the interior of the guild hall. This is kind of nice, and this is kind of one way that you can decorate your guild hall. You get to decorate it, so you can choose what kind of tables and chairs and all sorts of stuff, so there's some fun you can have there in the game. So let's talk to the head of the Varaness Valenhas household. My call for aid was heard all the way in Neverwinter? It is a small relief that there are still those who would heed my request. My people abandoned Valenhas. I do not blame them. Father passed not three days right. ago. As soon as Dad dies, after, uh, a light weird the orb appears in the sun and looks really bad. Court wizards can't figure it out. Thank you, um, I must admit that this position, though my birthright, is okay, not yeah, take a look I at it and figure it out. My well, what am I going to do about this, that? But, but fortunately, there are some smart people here to help us. Trian is going to help us. Etrian sail at your service, so you will be our champion. I shall not allow you to remain a. There is one who knows much more than I, who can assist us in saving the estate. A paladin of noble birth and questionable choice. Worry not, we will soon meet. You look capable. Keeping it a secret, but we're gonna figure out who this. Paladin is that we're supposed to meet with. Um, it takes us to a location known as Helm's Hold in Neverwinter. Figure out what happened here. Uh, but to do that, we're gonna have to defeat some devils. So here's your first look at what the various uh, devils look like. Hellhound breathing fire. Uh, Ambien over here that's uh, casting spells and ready to fire. A uh, uh, Naz Nazagon that uh, rides the, the Nightmare Horse. Um, these are slightly easier here than we're going to face when we actually get to Hell Proper. Thankfully, for those people who wanted to just start the quest. Um, we'll see some more inside. And by the way, this is a pretty neat spot. So, this is Helm's Hold. Helm's Hold was featured in a number of DD Next adventures and even 4E adventures before that. Uh, part of the fallen city of Neverwinter. Uh, it has some really cool statues around it, all, de all uh, devoted to Helm, Guardian God. So why are there devils all around here? Gura. Three of them. Do battle. 
They have the ability to throw a kind of sonic cone throw you around, which is no good at all. Looks like they're fighting. Hardened shock troop devil, those always look really cool. Send you flying backwards. And then you're kind of cultist types. We will teach them a lesson or two. Neat courtyard here. Statue of Helm. Sweet force choke on him. Blood war shenanigans going on here. Oops. Warlock class is a lot of fun in Neverwinter. Got a slight boost recently with an update, and it goes up and down and how powerful it is. But it has a lot of fun powers. One is the ability to move really quickly like this. Shadow slip. Sweet move. Petrian, I didn't expect to see you here. No time for chat. Let us press on. So we, uh, we have uh, Alric Valenhas, so in case you didn't figure out the spoiler, he's uh, the other brother. Um, and we're going to figure out what he's doing here in Helm's Hold. Facing off of the devilish commander. That's a good thing to do. First we got some other forces coming away. Imps. Brigands. Devoted to hell. That won't stand. Alright, we're ready for you, buddy. I'm not going to stand for that line of fire coming down. Ah, Alright. So we did it. We defeated the Pit Fiend. Um, yes, that's a little too easy for defeating Pit, pit Fiend. I'm um, playing a Warlock. Good question. Uh, yeah, it, it is, uh, someone's asking in chat whether this is a good time to come back to Neverwinter. It is. Um, the Undermountain campaign really helps you get started and helps you get back into it. Um, the levels now go to 80, so if you're 70, this will get you up to Never or Neverwinter Undermountain will get you to, to 80 pretty easily from 70, give you lots of good gear, get you strong enough so then you can get into Avernus after it. Uh, if you're a returning player, you won't be able to jump in right into Avernus. But we find this in infernal device. This is a cool artifact that uh, this paladin was looking into. And look at that. If you remember the episode where we went into the Shadowfell, there's a tie-in here as well. This puzzle box is the key to my father's secrets. So if you know the Avernus adventure, right. There is a puzzle box in the published that? version as well. Forgot to mention and in the Neverwinter version, you get one as well. In fact, they play the quite a major the role. It's nice the way they do it Does that uh, mean anything? in the game. Father. Hmm. Convenient. We need to depart. Now. So the one brother has been doing this research into hellish problems, and realizes there's some link to their family. Here we go. Polynhas. Oh dear. It's gone. Dun dun dun. We must go to Evernight. I know someone who can help us there. I'm going to call in a favor. I've spoken in the past about how they do a pretty good job of using NPCs sometimes from adventures, but a lot of times their own Neverwinter NPCs. And we're going to see that that's the case here. So 
So if you saw the episode I did on the Shadowfell, uh, you will remember this place. Uh, Neverwinter team is not about reusing assets. <laughs> and so they are reusing this the city uh, here and of Evernight, which makes sense. I mean, it's the same place. Um, and we're going to come and see who we are supposed to meet with. Oh, we have the set by us. Not happy with us visiting. Fair we didn't exactly leave on the terms last time. So that's fine. Pick up some loot, as usual. Um, so, if you missed the episode on the Shadowfell, this is the mirror dark version of the city of Neverwinter. It's called Evernight. Neverwinter. And uh, it's a dark, gloomy version uh, that's a, a entirely different plane, though it's adjacent to our plane of existence, uh, the prime material plane uh, that the Forgotten Realms is in. This is the, the dark version of it. Um, the Shadowfell was featured extensively in the uh, fourth edition product for the City of Neverwinter. And there are kind of cool hooks with the Netherese and other factions and power groups that are tied to this city uh, and actively plot against Neverwinter. Uh, you end up been visiting it maybe three or four times, like it could be even more, um, but at least three or four times uh, when you're doing other quests and storylines. So there's clearly reason why the city would remember you. And now we get to the NPC we're here to meet with. And it turns out to be Makos. Uh, we saw him in the Cholt episode that I covered. That can't be good. Alrick, good to see you again. <laughs> Though your present company comes as a surprise. We need to reach Avernus. Your magic can get us there. I'm calling in my favor. As it so happens, I have my own reasons to arrive in Avernus. I'm willing to bring you along. Now come here, and I will... Mekos is one of the most active NPCs that we've had, with the most active storylines in the Neverwinter world. He's, as, as far as I know, solely an NPC uh, for uh, the, the Neverwinter game. There are a number of other ones. And so now that we've made a deal through whatever is... Uh, Mekos owed a favor to Alric. And now we travel to Avernus to figure out what happened to the Valen Hess estate. Now we see that they've the wizards of Valen Hess have placed a barrier, sort of shield that they're maintaining magically, you see the wizard here, to protect the whole area. And we can look at our map here of Valenhus. Looks a lot more grim than before. Oh, that guy sure looks happy, that's another player. Uh, and now begins the, the kind of quest proper, that was the, the introduction. Now we're in the zone uh, for playing Avernus, the Valenhus zone. Um, if we look at the map, um, it has its own area here, and we can see that they could add more in the future. They have added a couple of other ones that are in the expansion that my other characters have access to, but this character does not. Um, this is this map resembles that one, which is in the product. Anything you can do to help, I will appreciate it. You have answered my prayers in returning my brother to me. 
I suppose it had to come to this for us to ever be. They gave us some backstory and developer notes. The developers shared uh, the story they put together here of these two brothers that have very different approaches towards things. When the father passes away, uh, the father has basically made a deal with hell, and so upon the father's death, um, the whole of their of their estate, of their castle, is brought into hell. And that's a kind of neat idea, right? Um, it is uh, it is a nice way of, of, of sort of making it tangible what the uh, the Avernus story in a way that, that Neverwinter players will understand because they're not in Baldur's Gate, they don't know anything about El Torel, uh, there's no connection there. So this, the idea of a stronghold, that's something they can understand because as we saw, most players have a stronghold or are part of a guild, and so seeing someone's stronghold being brought into hell uh, creates a more tangible experience there. Uh, there's a question in chat that the game is as close to 4e uh, that I got. Is this all based, or, or is close to 4e? Is this all based off of storyline from 4e exclusively? It's not, but it, it it plays on a lot of the information that is in the Neverwinter campaign guide, which has not been republished since the fourth edition version. So a lot of the storylines and story hooks have all been laid out based on that fourth edition book uh, that covers Neverwinter. Anything else? Um, as usual with a Neverwinter expansion, we have a campaign path that we can follow here. So we can complete our first task, because we did this help, and then we're going to slowly move through these. And the pattern of how the game usually works is they have a quest line, and once you did the quest, they become repeatable, and you do them to kind of churn through and get currency and whatnot. Um, we're not going to overly worry about that. Um, but Speak with our healer. There's some nice ways here, you know, you get introduced to different NPCs, family cleric that has some insights to what's going on. Uh, the first things you're going to do, Alaric also has information. And much to do. It was good of you to come, though we have been through much. I can still see a lot guest who's here. Um, I think that might be part of the new content. Uh, a weekly quest to complete some heroic encounters against major threats. And then we begin a, a whole storyline that's around the glyph works uh, that allow you to travel between different areas of he could this use uh, sets of keep and the outer to the far land, so you end up finding some sort of ways to tell it from this spot over here and so on. Each glyph um, is Makos is here maintaining the portal to Neverwinter so we can travel the back is active, there. Can teleport instantly uh, there are a lot of uh, initial away. lore you can pick up when as before. They, they give you avenues. really good lore in the game. Works all uh, the as we start interacting with these different lore spots or do kind of things, we will unlock bits of lore. The glyph works in the broken wood are telling you about different tunnel. NPCs that are here. There carry keys to um, all the locked doors in the wood. You'll have to fight to get So the father, them. I guess, became increasingly mad. And that's works. why read brother Varian went off to as a paladin to pursue what had happened. Um, and, or, I'm sorry, Alric went off to do that. That's the person we found in the temple to Helm, fighting devils. And Varian was left to sort of watch over the estate but I guess he did not really realize what was going wrong. He was just dealing with the madness of his father, um, which was due to having many deals with devils. Learn about Alric. So some neat things. It's the, I mean, the idea here is just kind of having good backstories that you that you understand around what motivates your NPCs. Uh, there's a good deal of that. Um, we can learn about the captain here. So the game does a nice job of having really thought out through the NPCs for this kind of a format game. It does a really good job. We will unlock quests with Captain Reese. Uh, so she's a Dragonborn. And then we can also unlock quests with uh, Garewind Vale over time. Thank you for being here. We can use all... Ah, brave soul. Good to meet you. She's Lose the family the cleric that has else. been around for a long time. This We're going to go meet to the Tran, who was the person that Must met us be before heard. and took us to Alrek. Um, and then there's some things, you know, can't collect a certain number of hellhound teeth, blah blah. Uh, we're getting introduced to the captain. She has kept some lore about Fairwind. So that's been really the, the start of this. We, we has her hands for this time, though. Stop here, you and all. next time what I'll do is oh, I will walk you, you through the, um, the, the environment of Avernus and show you how they bring hell to life in the Neverwinter. 
world. Uh, maybe we'll even do the same quest that I'm picking up here. Let's see. Um, but yeah, well, so we've got some initial quests. We've, we've got a, the, the secret or the mystery there of exactly how do we stop this. Um, you can get an appreciation for how you know, our stronghold, which looks so pretty in the normal world, and now it's in hell. It's being kept uh, in place by these shield wizards who maintain this whole security uh, and, tr and trying to keep those chains that are dragging it down into hell from succeeding or the legions of devils from attacking. So a lot of that quest line is going to be around that. So we will stop there. If you have more questions about uh, Avernus or the Stronghold system, hit me up on Twitter at AlphaStream or through the contact form on the blog, alphastream.org, and we will talk in the future.